Hello everyone and welcome to another event calendar video. Yeah, I'm going to start over the series again till Christmas and yeah, I was just busy with studying, helping out Dokim and yeah, I was uh, away for two weekends now so I just didn't have a lot of time for Minecraft so unfortunately I had to stop it. But we are back and we are back better than ever and this time we feature boat race tracks. These are two tracks, one is made by Cavo PC, the other one is just uh, more or less designed by me. But I must agree that this one looks actually better and I just did a quick mock up here. But it, they are both cool to ride and obviously you can build your own tracks as well. But I just wanted to show you a very cool use for the stopwatch here. So let's just check out the first track and uh, let's do this in survival mode. So um, I'll get ready and we are going to start off soon. Okay guys, so I got my helmet with respiration, you will need this uh, for the other track and also something to eat, so let's go and yeah, so the green uh, gate here is the starting line and um, we are going to set up a new world record here I guess. This track here has actually two alternative routes, the simple one and the hard one and I'm just going to do the simple one right now because it's already pretty difficult. It's pretty speedy and very narrow and there you can see the alternative route and yeah those water currents here drag you towards the pillars but I already got a lot of uh, just training. I was tra training this a lot because I usually fail all the time. You usually just go way too quick through the curves and then just bounce off against one of the corners because the hitbox of the boat doesn't rotate within the boat rotates. So let me quickly demonstrate this. Ah, oh, you so just saw it's pretty difficult. So if I press F3 plus B, you can see... Well, let me quickly do this in creative. Um, this is the hitbox of the boat, okay? So it's actually a little bit wider than the boat, which is okay, but if you go diagonal... This is mean. You see, the, bo the box is way bigger than the boat itself. So this wrecks my boat, although I was actually far away from the border here. And this is what makes it so difficult and actually this is just a super stupid glitch when flying that the hitbox is, don't know, just visually offset. It actually is not, as you can see. I can probably the end in here and I can also fly. But anyway, um, this just displays that the boat hitbox is pretty mean. Yeah, and also the cape is pretty sweet here. Usually you should just do slash kill to restart if you um, fail and your boat crashes. There are lots of boats in the in dispenser here so you can start over all the time. But we'll do it now, so let's go back to survival mode and try it another time. And this time we'll succeed, I hope. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more speed to the starting line. Boat actually needs a lot of time to accelerate, but that makes it pretty fun. And just one tip for you, just don't only use the keyboards. Also, if you look in the direction, it seems like if you actually need the additional... Um, you actually can, can go through the curve a little bit faster, it seems like. I don't know, maybe it's just that you actually slow down at the same time, but for me, I often use this if, I, if I'm not able to get the curve properly. And over here we got the bouncy waterfalls. They just accelerate you very quickly and at the same time help you around the curve here. And that makes this pretty funny. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, just always make sure if you're going diagonal, stay far away from the edges. Because they just are way closer than they might appear. Because of the boat's hitbox. And we are good, we are about to do it, come on. And this may see, uh, look easy, but it's just because I do have a lot of training here. And, wow, 76.6 seconds. I guess this is my best time so far, actually. Yeah, let's just quickly check out the other route. I wanna show it to you, but it's really tricky. Oh. Yeah, the clock is already running, anyway, screw it. 
and but at the same time if you master it it will be definitely quicker so you have to slow down here take this river and you can't control it anymore because there's just so much current uh, you can control it, but you can't slow down your boat anymore whoa, 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 whoa. come on come on come on yes yes and now slow down and yeah actually we made it wow okay anyway let's go on so over here you have to travel to the right and as you can see this route lo also looks pretty neat just make sure to not crash at the last corner here oh come on come on come on yeah boat survived I know you're going through the finish line from the backside okay so now actually yeah we crashed after the goal and you see um, 59 seconds but actually I would consider this as a different route so you can try to set up a, sp a speed record for both if you want to and obviously upload this as a video response and now let's just check out the other track so I'm gonna just run over and yeah this this track was done by me I didn't really make it fancy design wise oh and I guess those trees should have a trunk. You will be able to check out the area in uh, adventure mode uh, and creative mode as well. But just saying, official records are only uh, records are only officially approved if they are made in survival. Although it actually makes no difference. And yeah, let's go. So starting line just is right over here. Of course, I could just take more speed with me, but that doesn't. I don't care any at the moment. Yeah, and over there you see a huge whirl, and we have to slow down, not to crash onto the stone there. Now it's going into a cave, and for some reason my boat completely spaced out. Ah, uh, screw it. Yeah, this is the way to go. If you die, your home bed was missing or obstructed. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this, and we'll be right back. So we are back, fresh new day started and this time I saved my bed spawn and yeah over here you see a lot of boats. Let's go back to the survival and make our first attempt to do this. Okay. And yeah. So once again, oh well, this time I didn't do the first curve very well. You have to slow down a lot here otherwise you will, oh this was too quick, yeah you will do this. Shit. Okay, so you see this time it worked. I, uh, don't forget to always press the reset button. And actually sometimes it doesn't reset probably, but uh, just press it a second time and it's probably reset. Didn't find the cause of it yet, but it doesn't matter since you can just press it twice if it's needed. And yeah, next attempt. Okay, this time we did a lot better. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Yes, and now we can accelerate. Oh yeah, this was a nice shot, just right on top of this current to accelerate us directly from the start. And now it's going deeper down here. This is actually pretty simple, but to get it perfectly, you have to know where the current goes to. And yeah, oh, luckily we didn't crash here. So, over there you can see the track goes on, and this is why I need the respiration helmet, otherwise we would probably get damage. Oh shit. Anyway, I don't have the respiration helmet, that's the cause, uh, because I just died. Um, yeah, but that little bit of damage doesn't matter too much, I hope. And let's do the next curve here. Yeah, bouncing back from the streams and taking the speed into the corners. Yeah, this track is a little bit longer than the other one. Voila. And you have to slow down a lot to get these curves here. Those, those bolts aren't really made for curves. They're just made for straights. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll take the right road. High speed. 
Okay, now it gets interesting. This is the entrance to another water elevator. I just did some up upside down half slaps and pressure plates this time. And yeah, you just saw it. If you bounce in the wrong moment, you're actually gonna crash against them. Anyway. This is really difficult because those currents are too strong, you cannot slow down. But you can succeed. Okay, over here you get redirected by the current, that's why you can take the curve so quickly. So, and we are approaching with full speed, let's just slow down a little bit. Coming closer to the finish line. So the left one is the proper way, the right one actually just is... Uh, no, 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 don't crash now. Don't crash. <laughs> that was close. And... 181 points, zero seconds. Okay, so that's the time to beat for you guys. You can download the track if you want and try to beat the times as well. I, tr I tell you, it's not that difficult due to the boat hit, uh, not that easy due to the boat hitbox. And yeah, you can check out uh, both tracks and build your own tracks. And just that's just uh, I think a pretty cool way to to use the stopwatch here. So uh, see you in the next video and goodbye.